what's going on bringing back another video uh today i'm going to be painting the manifold uh mainly just this uh silver part around here and i'm going to also be touching up the orange i will be showing you also how to take off the manifold um, as i go ahead and paint it or before i paint it before i get into it i am going to show you a quick 360 of the car um, because last time I did get a couple people who did say they wanted to see the whole car. So I will do a whole 360. So yeah, that's basically what it is. Please try not to joke me as much on my wheel. I am getting new wheels, so you will be seeing that. So take it easy, hold your fire. Wheels are on the way, but Let's get into this manifold and I'm gonna show you how to take this apart step by step. So to start off, you are gonna take off the three bolts to take off the strap bar, which is gonna be the first part that we take off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just remove a couple of hoses and wires that are already connected to the manifold. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the throttle body and you want to start off by taking off these four bolts right here. And I did also miss a wire, so I am just going to wiggle that right on out and then take this off. lift up on the manifold and it should just want to come right out so now that i got the manifold off now you can kind of see more of inside of the engine you can see my spacer here a lot of people ask me why does my car sit up so high or my um my manifold why does my manifold sit up so high it's because of this spacer here i am running the um the honda odyssey spacer you can get the P2R spacer online. I don't know the difference in power or gains at all, but uh, I did get this actually from the junkyard. So also a lot of times I get a question of what this is back here. This, uh, I had to get this breather filter mod when I got my intake for the car because there is a line that goes from this to your stock intake. And there is a lot of buildup around here. When I'm getting on the gas, it does have a lot of, um, not not necessarily a lot of smoke, but I, I do see a, a little bit of smoke come from the from the breather filter, but it hasn't given me any bad signs or nothing bad has happened from it. So I'm not really gonna worry about it and I'm just gonna keep it pushing. All right, so now that we got the manifold off and the top plate off and basically the whole car not fully taken apart, but somewhat taken apart. Not many people uh, see the car like this at all. But now that we got this off, we are gonna paint this. I don't know if I said before, but this will be black. And I am just gonna redo that top plate because I did get this um, strut bar from my buddy. He painted this himself and I do like the way it looks. So I think that I'm just gonna redo the top plate that I painted and make it look a lot better so we can all kind of blend in it. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, grab my sandpaper, start sanding the manifold. Then after that, I'm gonna paint the manifold. Uh, we're gonna start out with, I'm assuming 
I want to do about two two coats of primer. Yeah, maybe about two coats of primer. There's really no need to go crazy because I don't want the paint super thick at all on the manifold because I've seen how it gets with heat. Even though the paint does say it is heat resistant, but uh, you just can't trust it all the time. So we're gonna go right in here. So down here, we have, we have the sandpaper. Let's go ahead and grab that. Do not ask me where I got this from. I do not need all that stuff just built up in my shed, but I do keep it just in case I need it for my car if something goes wrong, if something breaks, but let's get right into that painting. We're gonna start by sanding the manifold. Well, actually, I think I wanna sand the top plate off first because I think it'll just be easier and less uh, tedious to start off with. Because one thing when I'm working on my car or when other people are working on their car, I know it gets not necessarily boring, but after a while, you can't even, you can't even lie. We're all just ready to be done with it. So I'm trying not to make this the longest process, I'm trying to just get after it right away. So let's go. All right, so now that we got the manifold, we're just gonna bring it right over here and start sanding. the manifold off and the top plate off i want to go over here grab this blanket out of my car all right got the stuff out of the trunk now we can get the painting so i'm going to go ahead and tape up all the pieces that aren't going to be painted skipped ahead a big majority of the vlog but i did manage to put most of the car back together well pretty much all of the car back together um i did mess up on the top plate i think at this point i just want to go ahead and order a new top plate uh kind of like how my buddy did his has an acura logo up there so i think i want to just go for something like that i'm not bummed out completely i know things happen when working on your car it's all a part of the game I did also paint this cap orange, that cap black. Uh, that's a little bit more shiny black. I didn't get this part yet, but I'll get to it too another day. Cleaned up a few things in here. But that's pretty much how she's sitting right now. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, go for a little cruise. Probably that's the way I think we're gonna end this vlog today. So now, all we're doing now is waiting on a hood for the car and this will also be black. The hood vents did come in, so maybe in this vlog or sometime in the next vlog, I will show you the hood vents and what I plan on doing to the hood.